Don't you waste with a nap, Sal. Why? Well, I want to have a wash. Get some fresh juice. Well, I'd better go family. I wouldn't wait this for a feature. Look, I can't turn up in my filthy overall, Sal. I've got to show a bit of respect. But I know they're my flesh and blood, and I know this sounds awful, but the Seddons are pure scum. Sal? Oh. Always have been, always will be. They've been more impressed by the tattoo of a Rottweiler than a suit and tie. I don't see why we have to go to the pub. You don't have to whine. You know why? Smoking, makeup, who knows what else? That Nicolette is too game for you, we'll see her off. I ain't even done any of that stuff, Bob. Look, let's try and do this calmer, shall we? I shall be a picture of calm. You think I'm going to be dragged back down to their level? You don't realise how far I've come. Bye-bye, love. Mm, see ya. Well, thank you for having me. Oh. <laughs> My mum said I've always got to say that if I stay over at her friends. You credit your parents. They'd have been proud of you last night. No change there then. <laughs> Until the next time. You think there'll be one? Don't be so perky. <laughs> It would take you so long to get over me. What to get over? We were spiders. I wouldn't even bother eating you. It's Friday night, of course I'm going out. I've not stayed in on a Friday night since the Ice Age. And even then I had an intimate soiree or deux. What about you, Mum? What about me? You're out tonight. Why do you want to know? You're not normally minded. Because he's looking for a tuppet to park himself with that dizzy miss from across the road. Are you in or out? In. Well, can't you go out? It's arranged. Got the girls coming round. What girls? Stephen Lloyd. Oh, well, thanks, Mum, for being so mature about things. Oh, look who's talking. Yeah. Oh, losing this touch. I'm sure I have to come up with a better line. How long are you going to keep this going for? As long as I can be bothered. And I can be bothered as long as he is so in his wild ones with that plat moron. Tracy! What? Could you come in here a minute, please? What now? Oh, don't worry. Amy's fine. Your grand's taking her out. And there was me thinking you told her. Why didn't you call and tell us when you were coming home? Or at least that you weren't coming home. I don't know what time's this for getting in. It's not a hotel, you know. A million times. Like you care. Of course we do. And even if we didn't, we're sick and tired of being left holding the baby, literally. Dad, she was asleep. She doesn't wake up. What's the problem? Oh, yeah. So who changed her nappy? Who got her breakfast ready? Who's taken her out? And us not knowing if you were dead in a ditch when she asked where Mummy is. Well, clearly. I survived the night somehow. Where were you, anyway? The killer question. Well, it's hardly an outrageous intrusion. I mean, don't you think we're entitled to some consideration? Charlie's. Charlie still. The very same. And I didn't get much sleep as it happened, so I'm going to get my head down. If you finished your inquisition. But you slept with with Charlie Stubbs after everything that's happened. Are you mad or stupid? You know what he did to Shelley. Shelley is such a punch bag. She asked for it, whatever it was. Tracy, I'm speechless. So clearly a lie, if only. I mean, what on earth do you think you're doing with your life? I'm just trying to get over my unhappy childhood. Credit card. Credit card. Credit card. I don't know what they think I'm going to buy. I say I don't. They're not bothered as long as you buy some it. Oh, no, that's more like it. Proper post. What is it? Uh, it is... Invitation to the annual brewery dinner and dance. Nice. Mine must be uh, stuck in the post. You don't get one. Licensees only. Management count for note. So the only home for me going is if you invite me as you get. Ah, that's about the size of it. Oh, go on, Feather. Be like a bauble on your arm. Yeah. Oh. Take Cinder to the ball. Don't tease him. Why not? He's not going to take me anyway. Another night in with the ugly sisters for this one. Hey. <laughs> I don't see why I wouldn't. I'd probably say no, to be honest, but it'd be nice to be asked. I mean, nice to get some benefit in kind. Yeah. You'll be at the top of his list. In fact, you'll be the only name on it. If you wanted to invite me, he'd have done it there and then. Yeah, right. I'm not going to be the one slapping his hands away on the big night. He 
he's not a groper. No, no, you're right, he's not. No, no. He's a more thoughtful employer than you give him credit for. Mm. I bet he does ask you. Yeah, right. Bet you find where he asks you. All right. Why can't I? I don't like him. I don't think he's right for you. And I want you to do this. Why keep any of your business? You are. I told you. Not my home, I'm just a guest. Could you sound any more childish? Mum, why are you always disrespecting me? I am not having Jason Grimshaw in my house. End of story. Mum, if you're trying to drive me away, you're doing a really top job. I feel like I've kicked a puppy. I am that hound. Why are you so surprised? Well, you know, we're getting on. Things are going well. Maybe we'll go on holiday. Maybe get a cat. Well, now you're moving out. We never discussed living together. We fell into it. Well, we never discussed not living together either. You rented a flat. I'm straight out of a car crash marriage. I'm not like it. I want to try being on my own. It'll make me appreciate you more. <sighs> I was any port in the storm, and now the clouds have cleared. You're just paddling away. Oh, please. Don't go all poetic on me. Well, I just thought we thought the same things. We don't. I'm surprised. I'm hurt. I'm sorry. Hmm? I'm still moving out. Why are they being so totally unreasonable? Oh, we get negative messages. Where are we going to go? I don't know, pub. Yeah, but where are we going to go? Well, Charlie's not here. Where is he? I don't know. Want to come to my office, take a lesson as plans? Oh, yeah, all right. That's it. Using your initiative, getting cracking. Some employees would loaf around with a girlfriend all day, doing jack all. First one there gets drinks in, yeah? Yeah. Don't give me the long face when there's so many good things in life. Like what, shall we? Like? Getting off with Tracy Barlow. Probably not a unique experience, but not bad for all that. Why are women so scared of commitment? Have you ever considered that a healthy fear of commitment might be a good thing? No, why would I? But what's your hurry? Carry on at your current rate. You're going to be married more times than Mickey Rooney. I mean, slow down. What if she is the one and you scare her off by being too hasty? Grab it up. Oh, good, I'm starving. Red leader, come in, red leader. The swans have flown from the lake. Repeat, the swans have flown from the lake. Affirmative. Docked this instant. We're done with all that call sign nonsense. Why can't you just say, your pies arrived? Look, if you don't want me to try and make life a little less boring, you only have to ask. Oh, what sandwich do I have? Egg and cress. But what sandwich would Ronnie have? Well, that doesn't prove anything. Possibly not. You're doling out the life lessons. Oh, come to Eileen with your troubles and she just bats them into the canal with her wise and wonderful platitude. I was only joking. Oh, yeah, no. What is it? Nothing. It's just, I can't live on a budget. I'm not used to it. I'm skinny. Not it. That's easy peasy. Is it? Yeah, I'll do what I do when I'm skinny. Put the rent up. What rent? Uh, you're not charging rent? No. So Jamie and that alcoholic are leeching off you. Oh, even easier. You know, I should set up a citizen's advice bureau. Charge them like a cornered rhino. The snow in Moscow lies thick on the ground. Yeah, but in Ibiza, it is sunny and buzzing. Doing? Now. Oh, so long as I know. There's something I've been wanting to ask. Um, I'm really busy now, Fred. Don't want to long. No, I'm sorry, Fred. I, I don't think I'm the right person to ask. It's not controversial. Mustache. Do you think I should join a gym? Oh, Beverly, it's a very warm head. There's so much I want to ask you and all. No. No? No, you'll go once, you'll never go again. They lock you into a year's membership. Cost a fortune. Take a brisk walk instead. That's not what I want. Oh, fig. Hey, hey, what happens when you rush there? Oh, told you it was.
don't matter. Well, not too bad for me. Told you it was a nice house. What were you stepping on this cold night? No fridges, no cars on bricks, no boarded up windows. Or burning mattresses. Yeah, well, it's been some good fortune with a greyhound. Come on. Well, are you sure you've got it right about this lot? Oh, talking behind your ears. So totally taken in by appearances, Kevin. It's what's inside that matters. And inside, they're rotten to the core because the problem's in here. Right, come on, let's get it over with. Yeah, gird your loins and don't breathe in too deeply. <laughs> Sally, so lovely to see you again. Huh. Kevin, I'm Paul Seddon. Come in. Well, opening the box would be a start. <laughs> Hi, Mum. So, your new hair colour? Yes. And? Are you sure colour's good for your hair? This is different, Mum. It's Garnier Nutrice Cream. Nutrice means nourish. It's enriched with fruit oil. I love the colour. It's so shiny and soft. Hmm, it'll never work on grey hair, though, will it? Even yours, Mum. Garnier Nutrice Cream. Nourished hair means better colour. And now I can...